a totally vaccinated audience tonight. Uh, remember to keep track of those stickers, and then you just flash them next time, and you don't have to get out your card. We uh, ask you to be sure your telephones are turned off, and welcome to the comedy club, although we've gotten started already. We want to welcome the many clubs that are represented here tonight, or at least a few of the many clubs. There's a lot more that we can't recognize and we appreciate all of you, but let's particularly the golfers. Yeah. And the bridge club. TGIF. The baby boomers. And the pickleball. That's when she was 39. <laughs> now, how she got past the age regulations to get in here, I'm kind of curious about. She probably told the truth. But when talking about her, we think of comedy that is classy, witty, and clean. This energetic single until the speed dating hits her. Has, has entertained us for 14 years here at the Comedy Club. Her singing and dancing. Joey loves, even more than comedy, just making her friends laugh. So, you can see Joey on YouTube, just Joey Comedian Comedy, and the, the month. So tonight, let's welcome back our own funny lady of Laguna Woods, Joey Sims. Won't you come home? Here, just a minute. 
Okay. Um, and I think we'll let men in free, because God knows there's not enough of you. <laughs> you know, we're, last, well, last time I heard, which was years ago, we were eight to two, eight women to two men. I think that's still about the same. And I was considering, at this age, maybe we should have speed dating. <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. maybe not. Anyway, you know what I did? I put a request for info about dating game on next door. And before you knew it, I had 78 replies. Now that'd be great if it was 78 dates. But they were just replying about their experiences on dating game. And, and they've had a lot, you know. Two women reported, uh, I said, give me some names. So two women reported um, plenty of dead fish. And there is one called Plenty of Fish. But what happened to two of them is right after the second date, these guys sent them a picture of their nude part below, you know. So they decided to call it Plenty of Dead Fish. So. And then there's one that was interesting to me called uh, Victoria Milan. And wouldn't you know it'd be from Italy. But uh, it's for mature Miss Singles who want to have extramarital affairs. Yeah. And women don't have to pay, and everybody joins anonymously. I would think so, right? Right. Yeah. So that's what we need, unhappy, cheating friends. <laughs> and then there's another site that's really supposed to be great called Elite. And you must have money to join this. You must have been a professional, have a good background, and a good income, and at least a BS degree. And every man I know has a good BS degree. So. <coughs> One lady said her date thought she wasn't worthy and said to her, usually one, may, one must go to a pool hall to meet a lady of your stature. That's really sad. Anyway, I personally tried Christian singles. And the first man I talked to, I said, what religion are you? And he said, Democrat. So <laughs> that was the end of our love story right there. He didn't know whether he was, you know what I mean. All right. And I, if you don't like your picture, you know, um, people say they send in years old pictures, years old. And I think I told you this last time, this one gal said, um, you send me an old picture, you're going to give me drinks to where you look the same as what you're supposed to look like. <laughs> and there's a farmer's dating site. Isn't that interesting? But they found out that every, this girl says everybody was just after her tractor. <laughs> and one gal said the guy promised to bring her flowers, he brought her flower seeds. <laughs> I told my girlfriend that from Oregon, she didn't really even <laughs> think that was funny. And then, uh, one guy brought her corn. And how about this? I want a site for unvaccinated anti-maskers. That's kind of funny. One younger girl said, I've had it with dating sites. I'm going to settle for a pizza guy. He has a job, a truck, and some pizza. <laughs> now, you know, uh, that's enough with the dating site. It had me mesmerized for three weeks. Okay. You know by now you've all heard that in Third Mutual we're going up $93. Uh, that just kills me, and it's almost $1,200 a year, you know. So um, I was thinking too, maybe we need a website that says uh, homeless people looking for people with homes. <laughs> that could happen to us. And now the powers that be say we have to save water. Take a sponge bath instead of a shower. One thing, I don't mind being poor, but I'm not going to be poor and dirty. That's the way it is. I think that's funnier than you guys do. <laughs> anyway, um, we have to uh, worry because um, we can't remember the past, and our futures are limited, so we have to be careful. I can't remember the password from this morning, but I can remember my childhood phone number. I bet a lot of people are like that, right? Anyway, I changed my password. I hate the computer anyway. I changed it to incorrect. <laughs> now, every time I want it, I get a reminder that says incorrect. So, I can't stand the computer. You know, and then my girl.
girlfriend keeps telling me that she's airdropping pictures, and I go like this. <laughs> Some guy asked me how old I was coming in here, and I told him, you know, I'm 50 years old plus shipping and handling. <laughs> I love that joke. A little man named Nate gave that to me. I'll probably use it every month. Um, and then, you know, we can work on our faces, we can do all kinds of things to be younger, but the trick is to get your body to droop all at the same time. <laughs> and there are people my age, you know, that zip line, skydive, climb mountains, it's amazing. I think people here are amazing. I'm lucky to get my legs through my pants and not <laughs> know everything just about the time to forget it, right? <laughs> I think I Google 20 times a day. I've never been so smart and so forgetful at the same time. Right? I like birthdays, but I hear too many, I'll kill you. <laughs> now, my friend went to the doctor and he said uh, to her, your heart, your lungs, your pulse, your blood pressure, everything is terrific. But let's look at the part that gets all you ladies in trouble. So she jumped up and started taking off her undies, and he said, no, 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 stick out your tongue. <laughs> I think that's funny. Anyway, and then I'm going to end with this. The husband says to his wife, I don't know why you don't enjoy sex anymore. And she says, I still do enjoy sex. And he says, well, you never tell me. And she said, because you tell me not to call you when you're playing golf. <laughs> uh, we're so lucky tonight to have Karen Rankowski. We've been having her every year for 14 years. And uh, she's been working as a full-time comedian for 20 years. She just gave me a little note to say about her, and I can't, I don't have it now, Karen. So. <laughs> anyway, she's so good. She's really good. Her stand-up showcases are endearing, self-effacing, and intelligent char characters that catch you up every time. Karen's work has opened for Bob Hope, Ray Charles, and the Monkees. She moved to San Diego, where she became a regular at both the Comedy Store and the Improv. We just love her, and we're so glad to have her back. Let's give a big hand for Karen Rontowski.